Hey, uh, ordered these corals from Tile Gardens two days ago. Uh, got these today in the mail. I was shipped overnight via FedEx. Um, we're just gonna unbox this and see the quality of the corals. The packaging is pretty nice. Uh, as I was taking upstairs, it didn't seem like anything was leaking um, or anything. So it just seems like they did a pretty good job packaging everything. The label was very well printed and glued in the center. I guess that's a nice thing for people who have slight OCD. Ooh. All right. It's a little brochure, coral propagation that has fans, the place in there, and their uh, websites. Also, the invoices are enclosed inside. So, ooh, these are printed in color too. Don't know if you can see. Uh, got the yellow birds, uh, bird, uh, the yellow bird's nest, some posing dania, some mushrooms, and Duncan. All right. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this on the ground. Let's see. I think it might be easier to just kill it. This is my first time ordering anything uh, live stock from online, so I'm getting nervous. A lot of these uh, pea things. It's pretty warm inside. It's actually quite cold outside today. Alright, so wow. It comes in these little tiny cups. You can see the corals are definitely alive. This one has three hats. This is the Duncan. The Aussie Duncan coral. It's nicely labeled. This one is the yellow bird nest. Wow. It is detached from the frag, but I think that's fine. This one is the uh, lava lamp mushrooms. Ooh, so it looks so hot because that actually came off of the uh, floating thing, so now it's just kind of sunk in the bottom. And the mushroom is directly, actually, no, the mushroom is not directly touching the bottom. But we'll see. I think it's alive. And the last one is Pausalvania. Ooh, this is uh, quite a big frag. Looks like it's alive. It's upside down. It is. Can I see if it's pulsing? Yeah, I can see some movement in there. So I guess it's alive. It's a good thing. All right, that's everything. Oh, there's a, there's a key pack. Stay warm. Awesome. And I'm gonna just float these in the tank. So the temperatures are the same, and then I will. Uh, All right, so we've floated the corals for the past 15 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna unpack uh, them into this little con container and I'm gonna use, um, I'm just gonna take some water from the tank and um, dump the water, pour the water in here, but like in very small amount. Uh, I know if I do like a drip system, it might be a little easier on the corals, but it seems like a lot of work and I can't find a good. Um, for that task. So this is kind of how I've done all my coral acclimation in the past. I think it'll be fine. So just gonna open this up. Very nicely packaged. Okay, poor thing. You can definitely tell this is um, super hard. Come to the second one. Ooh. Trying to make sure I don't miss any of the water. This is the buckets. Nice and nice. A lot of uh, slimes covering the coral. I guess that's a good thing. I feel like I'm, I'm, doing, I'm not doing this fast enough. There's just not enough water to submerge all the corals. That's the mushroom. Make it be better. Ooh, it's like a little star thing. And this is the last one. This is the pulsantinia. Put the mushrooms on there. Bottom. I'm not doing anything about it. Hmm. All right. 
because it'll be this floating piece of things. All right, so now I'm gonna very gently just um, put some water in here every now and then. I'm gonna turn the uh, all the pop-up off, otherwise it's gonna go crazy. Just gonna be keep that reading the soap for some out of you. So, all right, I'm gonna keep this here. Keep dropping. I'm gonna keep doing this for the next 10 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna stop by adding, you know, fresh um, seawater every now and then until this is all, until um, they're fully submerged. And then I will transport them into the display tank. All right, a little close up on these corals that are being acclimated right now. Um, the pulsing zinnia is not pulsing for some reason, but it does look like it's alive. The mushroom on the side is opening up a little bit, so it seems like um, being detached from the floating piece of foam and having the mushroom directly touching the bottom of the container didn't cause a lot of damage. Still nice and about to open up. On this side, you have the Duncan and the bird nest. The Duncan looks in good shape. It's opening up a little bit. The bird nest looks quite awesome, even though it's a very small piece of frag. So I guess overall I'm quite satisfied. I'm gonna use this piece, uh, this, what is it called, proxy, to uh, glue all my corals into this display tank in a little bit after they're more acclimated. And uh, we'll do a final um, review of the entire- Alright, I've uh, been acclimating the corals for the past half an hour. Now we're getting ready to put them in the display tank. Alright guys, so the corals have been in the tank for the entire afternoon. Uh, now it's about 10 p.m. In the night, uh, we can see all the corals are fully extended, looking really, really nice. Kind of from far, this piece of bird nest is just really sticking out. All the fluorescent um, color is really popping under the LED light. Now let's do a close-up on some of the specific pieces. So this is the lava lamp mushroom. Actually a little disappointed about how it's um, just kind of dark. It's not really showing the bright color as it is on the pictures. So a little disappointed. Moving on to the Duncans. I got three heads as opposed to just two as described on the website. So pretty excited about that. Looks really awesome in the um, in actuality. The colors don't really pop um, under the LED light and the camera really doesn't do it justice. But these are really amazing pieces of corals. Highly recommend to any hobbyists out there who like these type of corals, Duncan corals. And this is the bird nest. Um, it can kind of capture how fluorescent it is. It's just really amazing to look at. All the polyps are kind of flowing in the water. These are my green star polyps looking healthy and lush, like zoanthus. And these are the pulsing zinnia. Um, a little disappointing because I thought they're going to be swaying a little more drastically than they actually are. Um, not sure if they're moving along with the wave or this is them pulsing by themselves. It's kind of hard to say. They're also just blending in with the background uh, because there's no fluorescence within these corals at all. So they don't really pop under LEDs, but the movement is quite interesting. I was told that these corals really spread very fast, so we'll see. These are my acans. I really like these corals, very beautiful, very powerful corals. Uh, right now they're about three times as big as when I first got it. Uh, it was a really small plug that I got for about $50 from one of the local fish stores in Chicago. Uh, look at how massive it is now. It looks just absolutely fantastic. Um, they actually killed my candy cane corals, which I loved a lot. Um, they, actually, they accidentally touched each other for about a day, and the candy cane corals just all died off afterward. These are, I think these are mushrooms, uh, split into two. They were just one big one in the past, uh, looking really awesome. Thanks for watching the video, guys.